Hello, my name is Kares Schenk, and I am the director of the MAPSER program, the Master of Arts in Political Science and International Relations. And I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about our program and invite you to apply um, and maybe answer some of the questions that you might have about the application process. So first, a little bit about the Masters of Arts in Political Science and International Relations, or as we like to say, the MAPSER program. Uh, the MAPSER program is really well suited for uh, those types of students that would like to go on to further careers in research, whether it's at a research institute or in academia, whether it's going on to PhD or um, some other type of research job. Uh, we've also had students that have gone on to work in government, in international organizations, and in academics and academia. Our program is really very, very research oriented. Um, in fact, the most, the most um, central kind of thrust of our program is to prepare students to do independent research. So we give you the opportunity in the program to learn research skills um, through your own, you know, on your own and to use in your own research projects, primarily your um, final thesis uh, paper. Um, but we also really like to have students involved in our own, you know, in, in the professor's research projects as well. So we like to give you lots of different opportunities, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom to gain uh, practicable, uh, practicable um, research skills. Uh, we've had a number of graduates who've worked in various areas uh, in Kazakhstan, Ministry of National Economy, Mis Ministry of Education and Science, uh, the Association of Financiers of Kazakhstan, um, Kazakhstan Institute for Strategic Studies. We have a couple of graduates who are now working at Suleiman Demiral University. Um, so our, our students have really gone on to do really successful and important things um, and really have, have used the skills that they've earned and or learned and earned in uh, the master's program to help them in their future jobs. Um, studying in Astana or Nur Sultan gives students really unparalleled access to government agencies, especially if they want to uh, interview uh, representatives of government agencies uh, for their research. Um, to international organizations, foreign diplomats. Of course, being in a capital city, this really affords us opportunities to have access to uh, lots of, you know, really important decision makers. And that is uh, something that really is, uh, sets our program apart. Um, our students have also taken advantage of study abroad opportunities, usually in the summers. Um, we've sent students to summer schools in Singapore and Berlin. We've also, we really encourage students to share their own research at academic conferences. And so recently we have sent students to New York City and to Moscow to, to share their work um, in the academic communities in international conferences. And this is something that we're really proud of students when they do. Just advancing my slide here. Okay, here's a couple of pictures of some of our cohorts of, um, master's students kind of in more formal and more informal settings. So we really like to socialize with our students. Um, one of the things that I think makes our program really special is that we have small cohorts, usually about eight to 10, maybe 12 students um, each year. And this gives them the opportunity to really forge close relationships with uh, political science faculty. And I think that this is really key to uh, learning beyond the classroom and kind of learning as a full person. And so here you can see that, you know, we, we like to take our learning outside of the classroom as well. Um, here's an overview of the courses that you would take as a student in the MAPSER program. So it's a very structured curriculum. Uh, we, we have five core courses that every student has to take. Uh, plus an, a couple of electives, and then a series of thesis courses. So in your first semester, you would take uh, three courses. One is called the Advanced Research One course. It's a course on research design and kind of thinking scientifically. How do political scientists think? And how do you go about choosing your own research topic and organizing data collection in order to accomplish your research goals? 
The next course you would take in that first semester is a core seminar in comparative politics. Comparative politics is one of the major subfields of political science as we conceive of it in our program. Um, international relations is another subfield of political science and so you um, also need you also take that in the first semester um, these are heavily reading intensive and writing intensive courses so usually there's at least a paper to write each week um, that you will kind of progressively expect to improve on over the semester. There's also quite a lot of reading each, each week. Um, and then each of the courses has a variety of different types of assignments, such as um, literature reviews, research designs, and maybe some other practical and kind of applied data collection projects. Um, You'll also expect to uh, participate quite a lot in, in the courses. So each of these are designed as seminars, which means that you read the, the, the course assignments before you come to class. And the class time is spent not by lectures from the professor, but actual discuss, actually discussions uh, between the professor and students and often presentations by students because this is really uh, student driven learning and professors are there to facilitate and guide you as you uh, le you learn from the materials that you're that you're reading from. In the second semester, you have two core seminars. One is uh, Advanced Research 2, which is a quantitative methods course. And the second is a political theory course. Political theory is the third subfield of political science as we conceive of it in our program. So taking a political, uh, political theory seminar is another core you know, aspect of, of our program. You also take one elective in the spring semester, and this can be really anything that we're offering. Um, and we have a wide variety of uh, electives because we have a, a wide variety of political science faculty with different interests. Um, and so they like to offer courses that are related to their research. You also start your thesis preparation in the first semester, or in the second semester, in the spring semester, um, taking a four credit a thesis preparation course where you explore your topic and come up with a, uh, a proposal. In the summer, during the or between the two years, you'll take a thesis research course where you develop a literature review and a, um, a proper thesis proposal and um, do some data collection if that's uh, if that's on your thesis timeline. Our thesis, our thesis timeline is fairly flexible. Um, so if you're gathering, you know, field data, you know, going on location to, to, to gather data, uh, you might need the summer months to do that. In the second year, the fall semester involves uh, thesis work and two electives. Again, just any two electives. Um, you can take you will take most of your electives in the political science department. You are allowed to take one elective outside of the political science department. And this could be um, within uh, the School of Sciences and Humanities. It could be an economics course, perhaps, or a Eurasian studies course, um, perhaps something outside of uh, the School of Humanities and Sciences as well in the, the Graduate School for Public Policy. But we do only allow one elective outside of political science. We like to keep you to ourselves. Um, and then in the spring, you can uh, Take one elective plus the rest of their, your time is devoted to your thesis. So uh, there's really quite a lot of attention and credits uh, devoted to writing the thesis because this is really your opportunity to do an independent project and develop it from start to finish um, in a way that you know gives you a, a really pretty impressive uh, you know output at the end. Um, I should say one more thing and uh, that the summer course, uh, the summer semester the thesis research that is required um, can be taken from anywhere. So it's kind of an independent study. It doesn't require that you are located in Nur Sultan for that um, summer semester. You can be certainly, um, but you don't have to if you would like to also do some either field research or summer school or, you know, study from your hometown or um, something like that, um, then you are completely free and welcome to do that. 
So as I said, our thesis writing starts in the second semester. It starts with a thesis preparation course, which is just for uh, ECTS credits. Um, so it's not, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of just like a half a course just to kind of get you started and thinking about your thesis topic. Um, the summer is 12 ECTS credits. Fall is 12 ECTS, and then uh, the spring, the final semester, is 20 ECTS credits. And this is uh, this comes together to make your thesis writing series, which, like I said, is central to the project to the program that we are um, that, that we offer. A little bit more about how the thesis sequence. Uh, unfolds and develops. So in the spring semester, you'll select your advisor. So in the fall, in your first semester, we like to um, introduce you to all the professors to make sure that you know who they are and what their research is all about, maybe kind of what their personality is, is like, because that's important um, when you're selecting adv an advisor to know that you're going to select somebody that you can work with. Um, so in that second semester, in the first spring, um, you will select your advisor, you will look for your topic, um, you'll explore the literature on that topic, you will present, you'll do an oral presentation of a propo proposal or a pre-proposal. You'll kind of present your ideas, um, the, 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 what you would like your thesis topic to be to the political science faculty and your fellow students um, and the rest of the Nazarbayev University community. These are open to the community. Um, and if you anticipate that you will be doing something like interviews or focus groups or a survey, um, then you'll also need to be ready to be trained to do um, or to submit a, an ethics proposal for working with human subjects. Um, in the summer, like I said, the uh, the schedule can be quite flexible depending on the needs of your project. So you, you could be doing data gathering. So uh, a year or so ago, we had a student go to Ukraine to collect his data um, for his thesis. Uh, he did that during the summer, uh, partly because that's when he had the most free time, partly also because that was around the time of the Ukrainian election. So it worked out um, quite well. Um, so if you want to do field research, summer is a really ideal time to do that. Um, but certainly your, your thesis research in the summer will end up uh, with the final product of a research design, a plan for data collection, and a literature review so that you are kind of situating your, your research in the proper kind of theoretical context. Um, you are all you at the end of the summer kind of early fall you will um, revise and present your final proposal this proposal is sent to an external committee member um, a, com a member of your thesis committee that is made up of your thesis committee is made up of two political science professors uh, from Nazarbayev University and one political science or related professor that is from a different university outside of Kazakhstan. So usually we choose uh, universe, uh, you know, professors from universities in um, the UK, in um, the US, and um, also Hong Kong and um, other, other reputable universities. And then in the fall, once your uh, proposal is approved by your committee and your external, um, then you get to work on uh, collecting your data, analyzing your data, um, and starting to write up your thesis. So we like you to have a chapter of your thesis done by the end of the fall semester. And then you finish up your, uh, your thesis in the spring. So usually that means a rough draft of your entire thesis by March, a final draft by April, and all of those drafts are read by your committee at NU and your external advisor as well. Okay, so just a couple of things, a couple of maybe suggestions. Um, if you're planning on applying to the MAPSER program, uh, these are kind of tips that we like to, like we like to see in students uh, when we see their applications. Please get to know our department. Uh, we like to know that you actually know who we are and what it is that we're doing. So here's the website. Um, important, especially important things uh, for you to know are, um, who the faculty are or the, who the professors are. So please explore 
uh, the biographies and the research profiles of the professors um, because we want to know that you're coming to us because um, we have something specific that you are interested in studying. Please also look at the course offerings, uh, the, the courses that we teach and the syllabi. All of our syllabi are available, our course plans are available online on our webpage. Um, please look at those because it tells you how demanding our courses are. It tells you how much you will need to read each week, what types of writing uh, assignments you will have to do, and um, the types of things that we will expect of you as a student. Please also talk to former students. They're a great resource uh, for telling you all sorts of informal information about the program and what is maybe good about the program, maybe what's not so good about the program, though I think it's pretty good. Um, but they'll tell you, you know, kind of what to what to do, what not to do, how to socialize yourself in the pro in the program, because oftentimes it's uh, it's more than just the academic work. It's also getting acclimated to the kind of the, the social, not the social, but just kind of the climate of of, of what we expect in the political science department and in our program. I would also suggest that you look at former students' theses in the NU library, library repository. So again, the, um, the link is here. Um, and that is just a place where you can look at the final product of the theses that our students are producing. So just to give you an idea of of what types of, of projects students have been writing about. So a student last year wrote about party competition in Ukraine. We had another student that wrote about um, Kazakh Tur Turkish Lycia and kind of soft power of Turkey um, in the development of Kazakh Turkish Ly Lycia. Uh, we had a student, we've had students in the past write about um, issues related to immigration, national identity, um, trade, uh, other um, a foreign conflict uh, and civil war. Um, we have had students write about, um, let's see, cyber conflict and uh, a number of other really interesting topics using a wide range of research methodologies. So if you um, have an idea for a qualitative research topic, then that's perfectly fine. There's, uh, res there's uh, professors here that are real specialists in qualitative research methodologies. If you want to write a, a thesis using quantitative research methodologies, we absolutely have professors that really specialize in that and will help train you to use the tools that you need to write a quantitative thesis. But looking at our former students' theses in the repository is a great way to get an idea of the types of work that they're actually producing in the, in the output. Um, finally, our application process includes essay questions, which are really important and really central to uh, our selection criteria. I would say that the, the, the essay questions and the statement of purpose are the most crucial aspects of the admissions process. Um, the essay questions are checked for plagiarism, which means that you need to do research for these uh, essays, um, but you can't just copy and paste from the internet. Um, it requires your own thinking and paraphrasing and uh, synthesis of data in order to write these essays. Um, in your statement of purpose, we like to see that you know what the political science department is all about and you have a specific reason why coming to NU and studying political science will help you to reach your goals. Um, also, if you have an idea for a project, that would be a good uh, place to, you know, tell us a little bit about the project that you would like to, that you would like to work on while you're at NU. Um, those candidates that are shortlisted are selected for an interview. And during the interview, we will often ask you which professors you want to work with. So knowing the, the faculty, the professors, is really, really important for being able to successfully pass the interview. Um, also being able to tell us about a project that you might like to work with, to work on for your thesis. Of course, we don't expect that you know exactly what your thesis topic will be. Um, but if you have an idea, uh, then that usually is a point in your favor. We will also ask you a math question uh, in the interview because political science is, um, it's, it, it, it requires quantitative literacy. So whether you're working in qualitative political science or whether you're working in quantitative political science, um, you need to have at least a basic level of math skills and uh, the ability to kind of 
think and understand quantitatively in order to succeed in our program. So thank you very much for uh, watching this video and for being interested in the Nazarbayev University uh, MAPSER program. If you have questions, I will be happy to answer your questions. My email is right here on the slide. You can please send me an email anytime you like. Please also feel free to uh, email the admissions committee if you have any technical questions about the admissions process. Um, but if you have you know, questions specific to the program, I'm happy to entertain any emails that you might have uh, with questions. So thank you again for your time, and we hope to see your application in our next round.